Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have uh, another player review. We have the laner card. I think today we're going to be doing like a few things. Like I might actually see if I can get some uh, some player picks from people today on stream if you guys are interested in that. Uh, I'm going to get something to eat, man, because I got hungry really fast today. I don't know what it is, but uh, uh, yeah, guys, we have the new uh, laner card. Laner. Uh, five star skills for this bad boy. So for any of you guys that want to have some fun, uh, he definitely looks pretty solid for those reasons. But he also looks like a card that could be pr pretty nice in the meta because he's five foot nine, high high work rates, five star skills, three star weak foot. Uh, in game player traits, he actually has the dives into tackles trait, which is definitely really nice. Uh, early crosser as well. Do you have shooting attributes? Okay, so it's a card that you mostly keep on stay back while attacking. This card is actually formatted nicely. So it's a card that I would keep on stay back while attacking for the most part, right? While being a five foot nine player, mostly playing in the fullback position. But in the review, we usually try these ba bad boys out for um, usually like the right center back area, stuff like that. Uh, we're going to be trying him out. 99 acceleration, 97 sprint speed, high, high work rates, 97 stamina. But he also has really high aggression to work with that pace as well, which is a huge, huge plus. And 85 strength is not too bad. What is his body type? If it's an average body type, then we're looking pretty good, to be honest. Let's see what it is. It is going to be... There's a new center back card, too, from Norwich. I gotta check that bad boy out later, too. Shadow chemistry on this guy. Uh, okay. Yeah, so he's gonna have the average body type, which is a huge plus. Passing stats are okay. They're okay. Uh, dribbling stats pretty decent as well for a fullback, so nothing too bad there either. Defending is going to be in a nice area considering the fact that he has the high, high work rate. Defensive awareness at an 88. Honestly, it's fine. If he has that work rate, it's the more important thing, I think. Uh, and then obviously for physical capabilities, the stamina being high with the aggression is definitely uh, a huge plus. So, okay. So the rest of the team doesn't really matter. I just have to do this. Overlap, step up, step up, overlap. And the rest of it is good as it is. Okay, cool beans. Uh, yeah, let's go try them out. All done. Try some skimmels with him, see what's up. L1. L1. Elastico. Eh. I try those long shots to see what's up. I'm gonna switch off of him here. He directly pushes towards the guy. I'm going to use Danny to go into his position to see how he responds to that. Does really well, AI-wise, to block out, block out that attacking space. Sorry, I just thought... I, I try to get, like, the, um, the nutmeg sometimes, but it's difficult. Uh, I'm trying, but I can't. I can't do it. Sheesh, Elastico. McGeady cancel. Green time shot, nothing. I'm going to switch off him right here. I'm going to use So here. Block the center back. So is a freaking monster. Nice, well done. I was just trying to time the uh, L trigger there. Didn't overcommit in those areas. I'll take that. Yeah, so he has a little bit of an animation, like a little bit of a physical animation to him. Like that's why I overcommit some of the challenges so you guys can see the animation choices that he makes. Uh, obviously, there's players that do feel a little bit more agile, but that's me overcommitting pretty dumb spaces, to be fair. Commit him, let go of him. <laughs> and because he's a beast. I'll trigger. Nice.
Not too bad. Just trying to time the um, the L triggers there as well. Letting it go, putting it back on, you know, to see how he kind of reacts. Like I said, not like the most agile, but the fact that he has the skill moves and stuff is... It's a variable to work with when it comes to the fullbacks, right? Nicely done. To be fair, his running wasn't too bad considering how far behind he actually was from Ronaldo there. Ronaldo's not like, he's fast, but he's not like a super agile runner too. But even still, I think he did a really good job there. Nice, good challenge there actually. Legrand switch. We're all done. Legrand switch again. Okay, so if you overcommit him yourself in some of those situations, because of that average body type, you're going to feel the sway of him moving uh, forcefully in certain directions, obviously, which is why you have to control your L trigger a little bit more. All right, I'm going to play him in the uh, midfield position now with the high, high work rates. Uh, I'm curious to see how he plays there. He doesn't have the shooting, guys, so it's going to be a card that you mainly want to use defensively, but it's just something that is probably possible for you to use uh, in that area if you want to. His high, high work rates are pretty noticeable so far in that midfield position. Like, if you actually want to use him there. Yeah, you, you're probably going to have to give him a shooting boost if you actually want to take some shots from a fair distance. Inside the 18-yard box, he'll be okay at them, obviously. But again, guys, it's a card that you're mainly going to be using in a defensive way while just doing some skills from time to time to have fun with him. Oh, well done. There you go. Did I get the foul there? Nice. I can actually try out a shot of his here. Because if he doesn't block the actual free kick, then we can actually test out his finishing. Yeah, not too bad. Really rough situation to shoot from, but... We'll take that. Six out of foot. We don't get the ball fully here. But into cut to the rescue. All done. Snatches it too. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new laner card. So... In regards to how he performs in game, guys, uh, with the shadow chemistry style, you're working with a pretty decent card for the meta of the game for a few reasons, right? So obviously, uh, because of the fact that his aggression is at a 97 with really, really high pace, really, really high defending, uh, this is a card that if you are using mainly in the defensive sense, will be pretty decent to have in a team, right? So if you want to use him as a uh, a player who's playing in a two midfield setup, in my case with the 3-4-1-2, he could definitely play that area in the middle really nicely as long as you are not attacking that often with him. Uh, he has the 81 shot power, obviously, but because of the 66 finishing, you want to keep him more in the defensive areas as much as possible. So mostly in the right back position, uh, one of the two midfielders that's not going to attack that much. Um, you know, but the whole variable with a card like this existing as an SBC is so that you can have a right back that's from the Bundesliga that has five star skills because the five star skills is obviously the biggest variable to consider when it comes to unlocking this SBC. Uh, if we take out the links that he has. Mbolo. And Bolo Link is definitely very nice. The So card that we have is actually pretty sick as well. Although So is not... No, So is not uh, from Switzerland. He's from... Uh, no, he is from... Oh, but it's Austria. Okay. Oh, it's because of the uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, so Borussia Mönchengladbach. Zakaria. Oh, but that's the old one. That's not the... That's not the Juve one. The Juve one's significantly better. The 
Bitzer, Solmer, Mario Gomez, Rickon, Hoffman. Yeah, not the craziest links. Nothing too crazy. More just like a Bundesliga right back that actually just gives you the link ups for the most part. The only thing they can really hope for in the future is maybe a cheeky um, Sabitzer link. Yeah, I guess a Bitzer card could be okay. Canes. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Uh, for the most part, guys, the SBCs for Foot Birthday have been underwhelming. Um, their selections have been very poor, in my opinion. Like, they could definitely select some better players. But um, it is what it is, to be honest with you guys. The card's not too bad. You know, obviously, if you want to... It's, it's more of a card that has been... It's like this, right? There's nothing crazy special about it, but it's a card that has been improved to be able to play in the meta of the game while offering you five-star skills. That's the whole point of a card like this being released as an SPC. But uh, yeah, for birthday for the first week, man, it's been underwhelming so far, I think. But uh, yeah, we'll probably have a lot of other videos today if we can uh, get to that. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.